Hello everyone, welcome to our Let's Play series of Fallout. This is Colonel RPG as usual and I'm very happy that you chose to hang out with me today as we finish up Junk Town. So, yeah, we, we're pretty much done in this town. And uh, there's no water ship in here. But in between episodes I got to think, who did I find that uh, needed help? And uh, if I remember correctly, Trish, I think that's her name, uh, which is... Uh, a waitress in the scum pit, or whatever, a bar over here. Um, she didn't like that Saul... Yes, yeah, scum pit, there it is. She didn't particularly like that Saul, his... Um, uh, her, her boyfriend, uh, was a boxer, or a ring fight, or whatever. And this is Saul the boxer. Hello again, he says. So, I'm going to talk with him about Trish. Uh, she's very important to me. But she doesn't like my boxing. She doesn't seem to understand that it's what I want to do. She's concerned for your welfare. She probably can't stand to see you getting beaten up and risking your life for Gizmo. If you don't find a compromise, you could lose her. I never thought of it that way. I figured that she just didn't like boxing. I suppose I'll have to talk to her more about this. Thanks. Great. That's it. That's it. Maybe later we could talk to Trish, see what she thinks of this whole situation. I don't know. I don't know, maybe he'll quit fighting. Maybe not. No fighting day after tomorrow. Hmm. Nah. Oh, maybe yes. Okay, let's give that a try. Let's let's sleep before we go, because uh, in the original game, um, when, when, uh, when um, the game first came out, I think it's because of the patch or something. You see here, get Watership. 3,984 uh, days left. Basically, there's a time limit. But the original game had a time limit of 150 days. And I'm going to stick to that time limit. I'm gonna try, because now we have a 4,000 day time limit. And I'm going to try and um, play by that rule right there. I'm going to try and find the water ship in 150 days. So, for now, we're going to... We still have time, basically. We still have time. Things have been going well. We got plenty of money. And for right now, I'm going to take a couple of days off so we can buy bet on some fighters. We can bet on whoever is about to to fight up there. So let's rent a room. Can I rent for two days? Just one night? Okay, I'll go for one night. I want to sleep, please. Uh huh. Uh huh. Yes. And rent another night. What? Thank God you're here! Some crazy guy as Cynthia held hostage is threatening to kill her! You've gotta help! I'll check it out. Seems like a random encounter of sorts. That's it! Don't come any closer! I'll offer, I swear! Hmm, so we got options right here. One of the things I, I, I've, I've learned from watching television all these years, or from watching series or reading books and whatever, uh, it's not... I mean, about these situations, when someone is about to do something stupid, some, someone is about to kill themselves, or, or kill somebody, or take hostages, or whatever, and uh, if you see yourself in this situation, uh, first off, you know, if the police is around, let them do it. You don't want anything on your conscience, or on your conscience. and um, basically, the police is trained to deal with these situations, this kind of, 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 of uh, problems, and they're, they have uh, people that are, are good at it, and they have experience, and it's their job. But, one of the things that you can do is keep them talking. Keep whoever is about to do something stupid talking. So you get to know about their problems, get to know about their personality, their, mo their motivations, uh, what's, what, what is actually going on, and, and, and then you can empathize, you can work with them for a bit, you can see what they are trying to do. For example, this situation, Whatever this guy is feeling, he's probably he's probably like feeling a lack of power or something because is is taking is taking someone hostage and probably is not getting something that he wants or I don't know. But you'll never get to do it if you just say, come on, dude, don't do it. And he's going, what? Who are you? Get the get the hell out of here. And um, so I'm going to try and stick to this. Um, to this line of dialogue. There is no need for violence. Let's just talk about this. What world do you live in? Out here in the real world, 
Blood flows, man. Blood flows. And it's gonna spill all over this room if you don't get out of here. Okay, okay. I'm No, actually. Mm. Yeah, that's right. That's the, mm, the question right there. We can talk this over. What can I do to help? Jeez, that's funny. Who says I want to help? You do. By holding this woman hostage... I'm not seeing her actually, but anyway, by hol by holding this woman hostage, you're asking for help. You can, I can help. I gotta think this. I gotta think about this. Give me a moment. What? Just like. Hello. Thank you for waiting. Stay back. I don't want. <laughs> I don't want to hurt you, but I will. Oh, okay. So again, two choices. I think I'm going for the. Why do you want to hurt her? She laughed at me. Ooh. Hmm. She laugh at me. They all laugh at me. I, I'll make them pay. I swear. Yeah, he's probably got something going, not going on right there. And uh, yeah, in this post-apocalyptic world, you're probably not gonna have much luck finding pills off the internet to cure that that particular situation. But anyway, you gotta live with it, man. You just gotta live with it. And uh, if you don't get the tools, you don't get the tools. I trust you. Let's work through this, okay? You sound like an alright kind of guy. No one ever wanted to help me before. I think we can talk some more. Let's talk some more, then. Where do we go from here? You tell me. You're in charge. Oh, and that's the thing. For Yeah, as, as, I, as, as I was saying before, basically, he's, 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 he feels a lack of power, so I'm trying to give him a little nudge towards the... You know, that is in charge. He's in charge of his own life. And right now he's in charge of the life, apparently, of this this woman right here. And, um, yeah, I don't know. It's just the only option. Let's go. I want some money and I want to get out of here peacefully. No one follows me. Seriously? Money? Mm. Okay, let's see. But I have to let the gold girl first. Show me some trust and I'll trust you. Yes, that... Mm, I'm not sure. Okay, so if he just leaves, I have, no, I have no problem with it. No money, but you can just walk away. No one will do anything, I promise. Yeah, it's like I'm, I'm the sheriff or something. I, I, my promise is gold. My, seriously. Oh, that easy. Okay, great. I'm just a, a silver thong, a silver thong after all. Ooh, and we got a hefty amount of experience for successfully rescuing this seductive cell baby. As, as, as it's it's described right there. Thank you for what you did. No one ever took care of me like that before. <laughs> I can I can really take care of you later. <laughs> Is that all? <laughs> Is that Is that all you can think about? Jeez, some people. <laughs> yeah, I guess that. Uh, I guess. Ma uh, Maxwell over here isn't very smooth with the ladies, unfortunately. His four points in charisma kind of, <laughs> kind of didn't go too well for him right there. Uh, anyway. Anyway, I'm not going to mess with the skulls right there. Because, um... Um... If the skulls, have, they, actually, they attacked us. They probably don't like, don't find us that... That funny. Oh, actually, let's speak with the the lady from the hotel. Uh, so I'm not gonna go invade their 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 territory because the first time it was in self defense and invading them probably isn't. Thank you for helping Cynthia. She's usually not a problem. You deserve a good night's sleep on me. On you? Oh, I'm I, I, I'm okay. That's okay with me. She didn't want nothing, but if you you're just so straightforward. Just thanks. Follow me. Ooh, that's right. That's right. That's right. Just sleep. Oh, what? What? I just slept by myself. Hi. She doesn't want to talk to me. Maybe Maxwell isn't very doted by nature either. <laughs> I don't know. There, there was no slider or anything on the character creation. <laughs> Hello, Mr. Guard. Um, let's go up up north and um, and speak with um, whatever the the dude from uh, the ring, the fighting ring, and see if we can make some bets, make some um, money off the the fight. 
There's a dude already in there. Saul is still fighting though. So you wanna lay a bet on the fight? What are the odds? Who do you wanna bet on? Saul or the challenger? Odds favor Saul winning, cost is 25 caps to bet, you get 50 if you win betting on Saul, 100 if you win betting on the challenger. Yes, let's be risky. Let's if life on the ragged edge and um, and bet on the challenger. Hopefully is a, a tough guy or, and uh, and is willing to let the fight begin. Oh, there he is a big black dude with a metal armor. That's nice. Come on. Very exciting stuff as you can see. This game is some great fights right there. <laughs> yeah, this game is uh well, it came out in 1997, so it's 16, 17 years old, 18 years old, I think. Yeah. It has aged as well as it has aged, but... Oh, no! Saul won the fight, I think. Is that Saul? That's Saul. Mm. Well, you can win them all, my friend. Better luck next time. Well, at least it was a good fight. He put up a fight, though. That was that was that's what's important. So let's go into the bar, speak with Trish. She's around. Hello, Trish. How are you doing? Sorry, we're close. Come back later. Mm. Anyway, oh, we can we could uh, loot the. Come on, stop. We could loot the the stuff off the ground because uh, we got plenty of room um, to carry uh, our. To carry our loot now because uh, we got Tycho, our friend, and uh, it's one of the things that I kind of miss from from. Um... Where's our Desert Eagle? Where is our Desert Eagle? Well, we probably left it down at Doctor Morbid's. Anyway, um, got a leather armor. That's all is nice. We got a sledgehammer. I'm not gonna take that. Uh, let's. Uh, Trish probably doesn't have anything else to say. Uh, so, one of the things I want to talk about about Fallout is that this game, being uh, uh, so focused on choices and consequences and all that, uh, there's really plenty of ways that you can uh, go about. And uh, this playthrough, you, we're not going to... I'm not going to focus on, on uh, com total 100% completion. That's definitely possible. I mean, um, there are some compromises that some missions that... Uh, block other missions and all that, but uh, what I'm going to do is uh, just have fun, so just focus on role-playing, Maxwell over here, he's a a, a a thief or an old, an ex-thief or whatever, and he's a do-gooder, he's like, he has a, a good heart, and we met, we missed that, that's empty, okay, uh, he's, a, he's got a good heart, so yeah, inside he's a nice guy, outside sometimes he's not. But uh, anyway, that's the role playing. I'm going to role play this, and uh, if you want uh, to know all about all the missions that there that the game has and how to do that, uh, well, this uh, LP, this this game playthrough is not going to be for you. That said, I'm, I, I I know the game pretty well, so I'm going to try and cover pretty much everything but some of the missions that we're going to go through for example over here in Junktown you could uh, side with Gizmo you could uh, take out Gillian you could uh, do some stuff with the, the skulls and all that but anyway that's for other characters to play to, to um, that's for other, ca other characters because sometimes you just have to replay the game in a different way and this this game lends itself to replayability Generally well, generally well. It's not perfect, but um, anyway, just just a word of, of of warning. If you're expecting me to be perfect or anything, that's not my intent. That's not what I want to do. Um, that said, as I said, uh, I I want to cover pretty much everything, or or just generally speaking, most of the stuff. But for Junk Town, I think we don't have anything else to to do. We managed to be the hero. I think we can see right here our our yes, our status and shady sands and junk down. Stop Gizmo and rescue Cynthia. We got a couple of missions right there, but some of the stuff isn't um, written in here. Uh, I think we can see yeah, Karma, Reputation General twenty three, 
your champion. You have killed many evildoers of the wastes, revealing you to be a champion of the people. Your war against chaos and villainy is widely known. And indeed, we have killed 75 rats. No, that's not it. 20, <laughs> 22 men. Uh, but I think there's a place right here uh, that uh, people... Yeah, I think it's here. Or maybe it's in Fallout 2. I don't know. There's a place uh, in, in this game where... You, I think there there is a place where you can see the reputation of uh, that of, that you have in each um, each town. So right now we're going to down here to the hub. What, what's this? We've got something over here. I think it's the Boneyard. Or is it the Brotherhood? It's the Brotherhood, I think. Let's go. Let's see. Let's go. So off we go. Maxwell traveling the wastes. It's 2161 December 25th. It's uh, so it's Christmas and I got attacked. Come on, have I been poisoned? That's not nice. That is not nice, my friend. I'm, I'm gonna have to give you an unfortunate gift for your Christmas day. I'm sorry. Actually, uh, over here in Portugal, we don't open, at least in my family, we don't open uh, gifts on Christmas day. We open it on Christmas we open them on Christmas Eve, and uh, I'm poisoned, which is not exactly perfect, I think. Where is it? Where is it? I think it's on character. Oh, there it is, poisoned. Hopefully it'll pass, and uh, probably it won't though, so I'm going to apply one of my poison whatever. You lost five current poison level. You mean... Oh. Yes, I'm still irradiated, but that's not big a problem. We ate a couple of mutated fruits. That's not a problem. That's not also all how radiation works, as far as I'm, I'm aware. For example, uh, I read uh, an infograph somewhere. But anyway, that's a story. I, I was gonna, I'm was i gonna tell it later. Anyway, for now... Ooh, three levels, look at that. This is the Brotherhood of Steel. All fancy lettering and stuff. A small structure surrounded by a chain link fence is to the north. Menacing guards and heavy armor guard the area. Okay, let's quick save just in case because uh, we don't know what these guys, uh, what these guys, how these guys will react to us being all up in ya and telling, "Oh hi, I'm doing. Come on, can I can I get in?" Let's talk to this dude. Hello, greetings and welcome to the Brotherhood of Steel. <laughs> what is the Brotherhood of Steel? The Brotherhood of Steel is a collective of men and women who have dedicated their lives to the preservation of technology. <clears throat> How do I find more about your technology? The only way to know anything more about us is to join us. My friend Cabot can help uh, with that. Do you have a water ship in the Brotherhood? No, I never even heard of one of those. One of our head scribes may know. Maybe you can ask one of them? That it is, oh, yeah, basically because if they focus on technology so, so much, let's show in, yes. You'll need to speak with Cabot, yeah, 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 I know. Okay, thanks, bye. Uh, so, I'm gonna need to speak with Cabot over here. Hello, and welcome to the Brotherhood of Steel. May I ask your business here? I'd like to join, please? That's great. Uh, wait, wait here a second, and let me see what you need to do. Okay. Uh, well, I, I talked to the High Elder, and he said that not just anyone can join. He uh, said you have to complete a quest first. Hmm. Do you... Oh, did you do a quest before uh, you joined? Not exactly, but uh, things are a bit different right now. Okay, what's the quest? You have to go to the ruins of the Ancient Order, that's south of here. Uh, you've got to go inside and bring back something that proves that you were there. Well, uh, how will I know if it is from the inside of this place? This place is high tech. There's things inside like you've never seen before. Oh, uh, it's also radioactive. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, sounds scary. Count me. Oh, count me in, not count me out. Okay, I'll do it. You'll do it. You will. Great. Just bring it back here. <laughs> Good luck. Okay. Looks like these guys. They're sending you down there. What's the problem down there? So you took the famous glow quest, huh? Glow quest. I'm I'm going to the ancient ancient order. Glow ancient order. It's the same thing. It's not a cool place to visit. How hard can it be? All I have to do is go there and get something and bring it back. It's 
the old uh, it's the old send new yeah yeah it's the old send a new guy on a quest thing actually wait i'm not sure i'm i'm gonna ask what's special about this place the glow as it is known to topsiders was supposed topsiders so they live in a bunker so they're downsiders is that it was supposedly a place where some of the most advanced weapons of the time were developed at least that's what it says on the ancient writings now as far as any of us can tell it says it's a big crater filled with rats i think the elders sent the brotherhood wannabes down there just to get rid of them others there were others before me others have tried we never heard from them again <laughs> they were weak. I'll be seeing you around. No, but let's let's okay. What should I ask for when I go down there? Or watch for when I go down there? Well, to start it's a good ten days travel to the southeast from here. And then there's the radiation. There's a reason none of us have ever gone to the ancient ore. If you don't have red X, you'll be cooked before you even know what he hit you. Just let me get it straight. Okay, so why the two different names? Most upsiders think that it's just a big radioactive hole. Thus the name became the glow, or even some call it the hot spot. We in the Brotherhood know the truth. According to the ancient writings, the, this place was the source of all our technologies. And who knows what it may still be. Thanks for the info. So a bit of archaeology digging right there. I love it. I love it. It's one of the reasons I think... I love this game so much because there's so much old stuff um, in the... Uh, I'm gonna talk with Cabot just in case. There's so much old stuff to do. Uh, hey, you're back. Did you get something? No, not yet. Well, let me know when you do. Yeah, it's kind of hard, hard to get it just by going out here and then going in. Yeah, ten days of, of journey just to get there. That guy, Cabbage is his name. He is Cabbage. So where's the glow? Is that it? No, that's it? No. Since this is the hub, this is probably the boneyard that Sally, I think. Yes, that's... Ooh! I'm not gonna go there right away. I need Red X and I don't think I have it. So let's go. So we got Shady Sands, Vault 13, Vault 15, Junktown, Raiders, the hub. Brotherhood Glow. Okay, so let's go here first. And um, get to know the, the hub. What's up with the hub? Let's see, let's see. On our way south, basically, it's a big journey south, and the glow seems to be as south as it can go. A pack of nasty red scorpion strikes from the desert. The desert. Let's get the he Oh no, 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 no. I was hoping that I'd be able to equip my desert eagle. But you don't seem to be in such inclination. Serious wound is inflicted, a shotgun to the eyes by Tycho. Tycho misses, unfortunately, because he required to reload, yet reload his weapon. And dog meat very slowly creeping up on the red scorpion and critically hits it for 12 hit points, which is great. That's a tough kind of pass for you, dog meat. But you've got some pretty, pretty ha hard teeth. Ah, uh, good. So let's get closer a bit. What? Don't run away. Why are you running away? Don't attack me. Well, I don't think he's gonna do it. Wait, wait. Hmm? That's, that was weird. Come here, little doggy. Come here. Come here. Shot to the eyes. Let's actually stay here. So just check that. No, 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 no. Okay. Dog meat is all fine. It's all fine with him. He just wanted a different path towards the red scorpion you know, kind of wanted to inter intercept him or any, or something that huge that huge guy is this huge guy and this little dog oh hit the red scorpion back there come on dog meat snap at him snap at him there he goes good boy who's a good boy who's a good boy okay Taiko hit this he says and that's good so Onwards we go towards. Uh, let's let's put that on. Okay, towards the hub, which is our next major. Um, you look at that. You got one, two, three, four, five, five different areas. 
The Hub Trading Co. Corporation, I think that's... No, that's, I don't know what that's, that means. Anyway. Ooh, this is a busy place. Look at that. Got some... What's this? A wagon. A caravan wagon converted from the wrecked remains of an ancient automobile. Yes, indeed. Look at that. Uh, anyway, I think that's it for, for this episode. I'm Colonel RPG, and this has been Fallout. I hope you've enjoyed it, and I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.